Okay, so new definition. An assertion or claim that is still to be proved or refuted is called a conjecture an assertion that has been proved is called a theorem Now, lemas and corollaries are special types of theorems. A lemma is a theorem that is used primarily in the proof of a more general theorem in order to simplify the proof and to make the proof more straightforward A corollary is a theorem that can be stated as a special case of a more general theorem so typically theorems that bear the name theorem build upon lemas and tend toward increasing generality while corollaries follow from more general theorems and tend toward increasing specificity.
Now to prove a conjecture, we must demonstrate that it is true for every case to refute a conjecture we need only find one example where it is false such an example is called a counter example Now, many theorems in mathematics take the form of an implication E implies Q. Recall that an implication is false precisely when the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false and is true in all other cases. And so to demonstrate that an implication is true in all cases, we must eliminate the case that the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false. And so we must demonstrate that in every case that the hypothesis is true, the conclusion is also true. And so to prove an implication We assume that the hypothesis P is true and show that the conclusion Q is also true. Now recall that the negation of the implication P implies Q is logically equivalent to the conjunction of the hypothesis and the negation of the conclusion. And so when this conjunction is true, the implication is false. Looking back to the truth table, the conjunction is true only when the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false and is false in all other cases. Notice that this correlates to the case that the implication is false. So this provides a counter example. If we can find a case where P and not Q is true, this is a counter example to the implication being uh, true in every case. So to refute the claim 
that the implication is true in every case. We show that the conjunction PN not Q is true in at least one example. And again, the conjunction is true when the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false. So we need an example where P is true. and Q is false. Now recall that an integer A is even if and only if A is equal to two times M for some integer m and is odd if and only if a is equal to 2 times m plus 1 for some integer m. So let's look at an example. So we look at the conjecture that if A and B are odd integers, then the sum A plus B is even. So let's prove this conjecture. So suppose that A and B are odd integers. Here we have assumed that the hypothesis is true. Then, by definition, A is equal to 2 times M plus 1 and b is equal to 2 times n plus 1 for some integers m and n. So the sum a plus B is equal to the sum of the quantity 2 times M plus 1 with the quantity 2 times N plus 1. So using the regular rules of algebra, this is 2 times M plus 2 times N plus 2, or 2 times the quantity M plus N plus 2. Now since the quantity m plus n plus 2 is the sum of three integers. It is an integer. And so the sum a plus b is even as it is equal to two times some integer. And therefore, As we have now demonstrated that the conclusion Q is true if A and B are odd integers, then the sum A plus B is even.
and this completes the proof. Now the converse of the theorem just proven is another conjecture if a plus b is even then a and b are odd integers Now in this case, it's easy to find an example where this is not true. So this conjecture is not true in every case. Let A equal 2 and b equal 4, then the sum a plus b is the sum 2 plus 4, which is 6, and this is even. And so the new hypothesis that the sum a plus b is even is true, and it is also true that A and B are even. This is the negation of the conclusion. So this is a counterexample that refutes the claim that the conjecture is true in every case. So as an exercise, prove or find a counterexample to the following conjecture and state its converse. So the conjecture is if A is an even integer, then the square of A is even. Okay, so we will end here for today. Next time we will continue to look at techniques and methods of proof. So I hope you have enjoyed the first lecture. Thanks for watching.